the buff here, and I'm here very small little Xcode tutorial for you today. <clears throat> so uh, today um, we're going to be doing in-application emailing. Uh, so you're going to need to open a new project and use a view-based project. I'm going to call this mail. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice. Uh, I've got a bit of a sore throat, so might not sound that good. Okay. So we're going to need to add the uh, message UI framework. So to do this, come into your frameworks folder, uh, right click, click add, and then click existing frameworks. Find a framework called message UI, here it is, and click add. Okay, there we go, we just added the message UI framework. Um, we need this because we want to use the mail application in iPhone. Uh, next up, come into your classes, and go to your uh, mail view control .h, and underneath the curly brackets, type in the following code, so IB action. Okay, and then we're just gonna because we're gonna be making a button which links to this, so we're just gonna call this open mail. Save. Okay. Copy this code here, which is import UI kit, paste this down here, and then just delete this bit and type in message UI, and then just click the right button on your keyboard and you get the rest of the code there. So this is basically just importing the message UI.h file, which is in the frameworks file which we just imported. Here it is, I'll just find it for you now. Here we go. So it's basically importing this little file. That's all it's doing, okay? Which we obviously need. Save this. Now, one last bit of code you're going to need is to add in at interface mail view controller dot dot UI view controller. And now just type in the following code. Okay, so I'm just going to paste it in because I'm being lazy now. Uh, but here it is. So it's just uh, open small brackets. Uh, MF mail compose view controller delegate comma UI navigation controller delegate. Okay, uh, you're gonna obviously need this code because this once again links into the frameworks file, uh, the message UI.h file. Okay, uh, and obviously this code is for the interface. Control Z. Okay, and save this. Uh, now we're gonna need to come into our interface for the moment. So mail view controller XIB. Open that. Uh, interface builder should launch. Okay, yep, now just add in a button. So I'm gonna add, add in a round right button called Open Mail. Here we go, just put it anywhere you want. Once again, this doesn't actually have to be a button. For example, you could have a UI action sheet which pops up from the bottom and comes up, and then you, ha you would have a link button there, or a alert view which pops around here, and you can click on that and it open the in application mailing, you know, things like that. But I'm gonna be doing a button. Okay, save. Now click on Files Owner, and you're going to need to have Inspector Open Interface Builder. If you don't, go to Menu Bar, click Tools, Inspector. Okay. Now that you've got Files Owner uh, clicked in uh, Inspector, go onto Connections tab. You see there's a little tab in it saying uh, Received Actions, and in Received Actions is Open Mail because that was the uh, IV action we made in our .h. So drag this to the button. And menu will pop up, click touch up inside. You're gonna need to do this with any kind of button you ever do, okay? Uh, so just save this, close interface builder, come into our dot m. Okay, and now we're gonna be adding the code for these uh, this IB action, okay? So just gonna be adding it here. So once again, IB action, close this, and the name of the button, which was what was it, open mail, was it? Once again, sorry about this, yep, open mail. Okay, open curly brackets, close curly back brackets, uh, put three spaces there, come to the third one, so save, and now add this code in. Okay, I'm just going to paste the code in once again, because I'm just being lazy, um, but obviously once again, all this code will be available for you in the description, I'll just add this uh, Xcode project itself, so you could just download that if you want to, but here we go. Uh, now, now that you've got this code, basically, this part of the code is just telling you how you're going to set up the email. So it's pretty obvious if you just look at it, you can understand it pretty easily. Okay, so let's get started. So here we have your email address. So you're going to need to type in your email address or your company email address. The subject, obviously, the subject of the email and body, basically what the user is going to type in. So you could set up something, if it's a game, for example, you could say, I don't know, whatever, Tim or whatever, got 29,000 and whatever, and then you could leave them to add more uh, 
information in that email. Now, in this case, this is more of an uh, email sending uh, an email to your company, but obviously you could set this to, you know, you know, you could get rid of this email address so that the user could send it to anyone. So if they're sharing their score, um, and then the last thing you might want to edit is this alert view we have here. This alert view is a error alert view, and it basically just tells the user if, for example, you don't have an internet connection, that the mail application was unable to send you an email. Okay, so you could add a personal message there, and the cancel button, so you most likely have dismiss or okay, and I'll see the title of the email. So I just put error. Okay, so save, build. There we go. Build succeeded. Okay, so we've done the interface, we've done the code, and now we can just build and run, and it should work. Okay, so the application is open. There we go. The in application email is open. So, you know, this is the good thing about in application. It doesn't lead the user away from your application. So, there's more chance of the user generally using your application, which is what you want. It's probably better like that. It looks more professional. And there you go, your email address there, the subject, and the body of your email. Okay, guys, um, thanks for watching. Uh, stay subscribed. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. These videos actually help. And I'll see you in my next tutorial. Bye.